All right, so because I'm recording, I'm not going to use your name. But when I ask a question, obviously, since you asked the question, those are coming at you. All right, so a new soup recipe contains 33% less sodium per serving than the old soup recipe. Honestly, that would probably be the soup that I would be buying because I have to be on a low-sodium diet for, um, for my blood pressure. So that's the reason why people care about sodium is it impacts your blood pressure, impacts your heart. Right, so we need to pick two expressions down here that represent... Uh, well, let's double check. Which of the following expressions could represent the amount of sodium per serving in milligrams in the new soup recipe? So when we think about what we're doing here, we have, that was from a different problem. We have the old recipe, which if we check our variables, what variable are we using? X here, right? So X is the old amount of sodium. So X is like previous. Now, when we have X, how much of X do we have? Like what percent of X do we have to start? If we have all of something, what percent do we have? Yeah, so we have 100% of X, which we could also just say is 1X, right? Because 100% is 1. So to figure out the new, the new will be the old, right, the x minus 33%, but remember, we can't just take away 33%. It has to be 33% of something. Of what? Well, of the old soup. So the 33% we're taking away is 33% of x. Remember, of tells us to multiply, and it's of the previous soup. So we really have 1x minus 33% x. But we said we can't use the percent. We have to use the decimal. So what's the decimal form of 33%? Yeah, it's 0.33. So it uh, doesn't look like we have that option up in our multiple choice. But if we solve this, well, one, it's, this is we can think about this more easily, right? If this was like 100% and this is 33%, instead of dealing with the decimals like mentally, what's 100 minus 33? Uh, 67? So this, now we could also use a calculator to help us if we need, becomes 0 0.67. So what we end up with is 67% of the previous sodium. So that would be option what in the multiple choice? <clears throat> what option would this be in the multiple choice options there? It's option B, right? Yeah, because that gives us our 0 0.67. So B is what we get if we just solve it out and do the subtraction, but then we need another, right? It says we need a second. So then if we think in fraction form, if I go back up here, but I'm going to change colors because we're going to write it in fraction form now. 1x, well, okay, so 1x, I could put like 10 over 10 or 100 over 100 or any number over itself, minus 33%. Percent tells us over a hundred, right? And then this is where I think some of you guys are getting stuck. This can turn into one minus thirty-three over one hundred times x. Because sometimes we just have to think about what does the multiple choice like thing that we're looking at turn into? Because option D is like it's not solved, right? It's like there's still some math that we could do. So if we do this math in the parentheses, one, well, 100 over 100, right? If I made common denominators, what's 100 minus 33? We just said we know what that is, is 67 over 100x, which this, remember, is the same thing as 67%, right? So this is 67% because it's over 100. And this is 67% because it's 67 hundredths.
So options B and D are going to be our choices there. Does that make sense why those are our choices?